And welcome back, everyone. So I like to bring up the fact that before this, Steven said, like, oh, I have something we can talk about. It might piss some people off, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so I guess you're just doing this the whole time, then? Yeah, no, well, oh, god damn it. Why, why did he have to be here, dude? Yeah, so that they recently announced that one new Pokemon game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait, more come? Wait, what? More of the small guys come after the the, uh, the guys to bounce I, off. I, of? I, yeah, like they're from all the way to the and they just slowly keep coming. I thought I thought like once you started, it would have like um, been continuous forever. Yeah, it, yeah, it would have like stopped spawning more guys. That's actually kind of nice of the game, and I was not expecting it. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. So um, Pokemon uh, last night uh, recently announced Pokemon uh, a new like. Pokemon Colise or uh, yeah, Pokemon XD, Pokemon Gale of Darkness esque game. Really? Yes. Oh, I thought it was just like a it's not. It's not main series. Oh, okay, it's not main series. No, I, main I, thought, I thought it was just a remake of Gen One. To be honest, it, it, it is. But like, a lot of people were mad because they thought it was going to be like a new main series game. Uh, but like, in order to quell some of the anger, think of it just like Gale of Darkness or XD okay. and a new. Um, Mainstream game, I believe, was announced for 2019. Yeah, but probably for handheld. Uh, well, well, I, I, I don't think we really know anything about it yet, yeah. so who knows. Eh. Yeah, I think they should just come right... By the way, I think companies should just come right out and say, like, um, what it's for. Like, what they're planning on making it for. Yeah. Because, like, what, one of the things that gets me is the new Smash Bros. Like, we don't know if it's, like, a... Um, Remake? Yeah, if it's going to be a new game or if it's going to be a uh, a remake of the one for the Wii U. Yeah, or 3DS. And I think it would be very... Oh, and I gotta go up. I think it'd be very smart of the company to tell us right away unless the answer is it's a, uh, it's, it's a new one. Because they're generating all this, like, what could potentially be false hype, right? Yeah. And then just come out later and say, oh, yeah, by the mm. way, it's a remake. That's, that's not for... Uh, yeah, no, it's not a piece of heart. That's yeah, but that's still really nice. Yeah, it's still, it's still nice to have, though. But yeah, yeah I know um, would you give me something like the Parkinary Zoo to give me like health back. What have you seen about Pokemon Let's Go, Steve? I had seen next. To, I've seen the trailer, and that's it. Oh, okay, so you know Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah, yeah. Which and, you know, I'm like, okay, that's neat. Like you get to pick Pikachu, or you know, the obvious good choice, Eevee. Yeah, I mean, who the fuck's gonna choose Pikachu over Eevee? Everyone who was forced to do that in the original Pokemon Yellow. Yeah. I believe it's a remake of Pokemon Yellow. Okay. I think so, anyway. Yeah, I, I was... It's just this time you get a choice, and you don't have to choose Pikachu. I mean, I think they're going to come out with two versions. Okay. Oh, that, that, would, that would make sense, because they literally always do that. Yeah. I mean, they didn't have for Coliseum. The... Wait, wait, what was Pokemon Coliseum again? It was the one where, like, oh, yeah, these evil... These people are kidnapping Pokemon, making them dark. So you had to steal them. Then, wait, what was XD or Slash Gale of Darkness? That was the sequel. Oh, okay. I, yeah, did not, can... I did not know this. I've never played. I've never played the GameCube once. Right. Are they any good? Uh, I thought they were fine. They they limited you on what you could get, which you know may or may not be good, hmm. depending on how you view it. I think it's a good thing. I knew you could like transfer shit from. Yeah, uh, you, can, you could do that and just you know get like a level one hundred EV or some shit like right. Which, away. by the way, speaking of transferring shit, guess who all of his days of playing Pokemon Go finally are paying off? Edgar? Yeah, because he's probably gonna be the one to get Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah. I don't know, I watched it and I wasn't that like there are no random there are no like random battles, I've heard. Oh there's not? I think so. Uh, uh it's it's too early to tell anything about it. There's still like Oh hello there. Uh, uh the corpse wait what Why did I get a note? Hmm? Like, I, I guess... It's not. The corpse of a Garpede. Maybe it, maybe it's, like, a timer thing? Maybe you could have still... Maybe if you got to it fast enough, you, it, he would have still been alive? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's one of those things, like, I got a thing in my notebook about it. Oh, oh okay, okay. I hate these. <laughs> I looked up how to get past them, by the way, so... Is it stupid? Um, it's something you may or may not find, considering it's Hollow Knight. It's just, like... Something hidden somewhere. Okay. So, you know, if you end up coming across it, you'll be able to go past them. Oh, goody, goody. Yeah, so I guess this is just a dead end at this point. Yeah, if you can't, if you can't so go past that. What's going on to the right? To the right? Like... Top right. You mean up here more? Yeah. There isn't really anything. Just, this is where I came from. It looked from. like there was a doorway. No. 
Uh, all the way to the right from where you are oh, right now. Here? That's not a door. Yeah. Mm, that's Maybe. not a doorway. Maybe. I might die for it, but you know what? Yeah, anyways. So, Pokemon Let's Go uh, uh, Pikachu slash Eevee, it seemed a bit too gimmicky for my tastes. Yeah. Uh, I think you should have stayed down there and went right yeah, from there. Yeah, I realized my folly. Okay. <laughs> the folly of men. Yeah, it seemed like weird, like co op, and it seems really cool. Like yeah, the idea of doing that. That, but uh, that, that was intentional. The, f <laughs> the fact that it's like, hey guys, you see the speedrunner tanks like get um this back. We're trying our we're trying our absolute hardest to make you do uh motion controls and shit, and it's still just not fucking clicking for me, dude. <laughs> or you can buy our peripheral Pokeball, which I think is a hundred dollars. Uh, wait, a hundred dollars for that piece of shit? One sec, Pokeball can Pokeball controller. Oh, uh, I, I, I can shoot my evil half with uh, two bullets and he dies. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. I, I like that upgrade. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, one second. I saw, I saw some people talking about that. Again, I'm doing nothing but spreading misinformation potentially right now. Uh, who actually listens to us? That is true, but, you know. What? Navy people will before this game comes out. And decide not to give because, yeah, okay, you're right back. Good job. All right, yeah, good for fucking me. I can look at a map. Uh, blah, 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 battery life sensors, other functions sold by... Uh, okay, so I don't think... Um, I don't know if an actual price has been quoted. I, I did... I did thought... I did thought... I thought I saw um, $100 being quoted for it, though. But I can't... Um, oh, hey, Mario Tennis character gets a throwback animation, so that's cool. <gasps> oh, right. <laughs> One what? sec. That, that, that could be a talking point for another episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, uh, I we'll talk, talk about that some other time. But yeah, basically, um, I really don't care how much the Pokeball is going to cost because I'm probably not going to get it. Right? Did I just... Aww. You're in the Royal Waterways. Oh, I'm in the... Or you, you can't... Oh, yeah, you're in the Asian Basin and you can go to the Royal Waterways. Yeah. All right, so I just unlocked another thing with this thing. So oh, you just unlocked like there are a lot of fast travels things. Like there's yeah. the there's the stag the stag station, the um, the tram. Obviously, there's yeah. a bunch of like really big elevators. Yeah. Oh no! Okay. Really weird. Where, where am I again? Uh, you know, you don't have a map, so who the fuck knows? Apparently. All right, I guess yeah, we're I'm in. in a, I'm in the void. I guess we're in a brand oh, okay, new area. Okay, so I was supposed to be okay. Yeah, so I probably should try to find Bug Dude. So and we can't leave here. Yeah, I can. No, yeah, 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 no, I know. It's just like, but I, I meant besides the tram, we can't leave here. Yeah, so yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we found a new area to go to frolic in and explore, right? Yeah, I think, I think I was here before. I am. I yeah, I remember, I remember this guy. Oh, okay. Big bubble, and then. Oh wow! All right. <laughs> Big Bubble was packing flubber, apparently, not muscle. Ow. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm a little sad that all of my uh, Pokemon going uh, is paying off with this, something I don't care that much about, but, you know. I mean, it could be good. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> you are not I, you are not wrong about that. <laughs> and I guess I haven't really cared about Pokemon in such a long time. I know, and, but I, I was excited to give, like, the newest one a shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it doesn't look like this one is, so I suppose I'm just waiting another year for, uh... Hopefully the new uh, mainstream one to come out. I'm probably not getting it right away, but it doesn't matter because Nintendo products never get cheaper, so. Yeah. Whatever, I guess. It is what it is, but I don't know. I guess... I know the latest gen, like, what was it, Gen 7? Was, was it Gen 7? I don't know. Yeah, that's the, that's the one in Hawaii. Uh, the, uh, yeah, Alo the Alola region. Yeah, where that one actually seems like it, it's doing different stuff, but, like, it, it took a long time to get to that point. One sec, I want to I want to look up Gen Seven Pokemon. Are there did they, did they add any good ones at all? I know there's the one where it's a ghost wearing a Pikachu like cloak. Yeah, Mimic Chew. Yeah, I do I do know that one. I don't even know the fucking starters. The addition of eighty one new Pokemon. Only eighty one? I guess so. I mean, I don't know how much did the other ones have. I think I think um, Gen Two added like a hundred more. Yeah. or something. I honestly don't know myself, so uh, let's. Yeah, uh, I figure it was just like okay, we always add like a hundred or so, but like maybe one. Just maybe There's one here called Comfy. This is just a lay, which yeah. I guess makes sense because you're in Hawaii, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Are there any like really ridiculous ones? Is is what I'm interested in. 
Um, Hakamomo, Hakamoo, uh, just some random thing that looks like it's jacked. Yeah, no, all right, I can't, I, I can't find anything that just is extremely stupid. Oh yeah, right it's off one of the stars. Bat. It's the black cat. It's yeah, it's the just fire some, one. just some cat called Litten. Is it because is it because like being lit is like is, is it the fire starter? I think. Oh, that's hilarious! I love it. <laughs> um, blah blah. blah. Yep, fire attack. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I still think my. It evolves into Tora Cat and then Incin Incineroar. <laughs> I hate everything about this. Yeah, and then there's Rowlet. Oh right, just a random ass like owl. Oh, yeah. the, the owl ball. <laughs> and then what's the other one? Uh, Pop Poplio Poplio. Oh, it's a seal. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, the, star the starters are pretty cute. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Did you see um, the poll that people were doing, and uh, they they were all agreeing that like Chikorita was like the most useless starter? Do you mean like it like for competitive or what? I think like just in general as like a Pokemon. Uh. One second, I, I want to try to find it. Um, Fourteen hundred Japanese fans. Oh yeah, Crunchyroll tweeted this out by the way. <gasps> Fourteen hundred Japanese fans voted and chose Chikorita as the number one seriously useless starter Pokemon. <laughs> I really like that. What are, what are what are some of the other rankings? I mean, I can't lie. In um, in Gen two, I, I pretty much always went with Cyndaquil. I was total total dial guy. Mm, okay, so you were my rival. Sure, why not? The guy the guy who could not understand what true love was. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that like a dessert? Um, not all Pokemon are created equal. In a recent online yeah. show, <laughs> oh, wow, Grunky, we're really, we're yeah, like... not not all. Po wait, 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 go back for a second. What was with that one enemy that spawned there? Could you go up there? It looks, it looks like you can go up there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hello, friend. Are you, are you the Is scary you one? a mimic? You a mimic? You're not a mimic. Okay. Oh, that's really fun. Good, I guess. Yeah. All right. And... I could probably just go this way and get. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I swear, cool. I, gotta, I gotta go see Papa grow up again. Yeah, maybe the guy will shit you out another rancid egg. Uh, the results for the top 10 seriously most useless starter Pokemon S are as follows. Number 10, number 10, Bacon Pig Dude. Tepig? Oh. Tepig Boss. Yeah. You know, from, uh, from Black and White. Uh, Froki, which is just a frog, apparently. Not Trico! Okay, uh, yep, I agree, Trico. Oh, I really Did, like you like Trico? I really liked him. That's insanity. He was a fast grass. That's insanity to me, dude. I I was I was almost exclusively a Mudkip guy, although I think once or twice I went with um uh Torchic. Oh yeah, Torchic was the one. Torchic's just the fucking best one in that can. Is he is he the best one? Like he, I, he, I play I started he's playing competitive like competitive uh, god. Okay. I started playing another one another run recently. And uh, if I ever get back to it, I, I chose uh, Blaziken because I was going for an RNG build because uh -huh. I wanted I wanted to just like do critical hits and stuff like that, <laughs> which I thought was a funny way of going about doing stuff. Okay, where the fuck is this guy? We got Trico Turtwig Charmander. Are you out of your fucking mind? I mean, I don't know what I, I just want to know what they mean by useless. Like, like yeah, dang. like sure. Right off the bat, he's not that good against Brock. Actually, in the remakes, he gets Metal Claw, so he is good against Brock. Yeah. yeah. And then, oh, hello there, Grog. Oh, hey, little uh, evil dude. We're calling you out. Nope, all right, fine. And, um, and yeah, he's bad against Misty. Yeah, obviously. But then, you know, he gets, like, pretty fucking just strong, get, Just thought. get a Caterpie and get a Butterfree quickly. I mean, he know he can learn Fly. Who? Charizard. Yeah, yeah, he can learn. So, he's, he's, really use, he's really useful. Fuck you guys. Chesapin, okay. Uh, Squirtle, number three, Bulbasaur. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Fine. Charmander got the least useless of the Gen 1 starters. Okay, so... <laughs> Top like, of the world, let's go. <laughs> okay, so, I may or may not have been misinformed, but according to our buddy Edgar, Bulbasaur is the most used competitive-wise. So I think that list may or may not be a good list. <laughs> Some 1,400 uh, would-be Pokemon trainers responded. Uh, yeah, would-be. Like, I'm utterly confused about this list. Bulbasaur is uh, is uh, high up, despite being a good type against blah, blah, blah. Don't consider... Mm. Uh, Fennekin isn't on the list by having a poor move set. Yeah, oh, wow, only 112 for the map. This is just 1,400 random Japanese people. Yeah. So, it's not like... Oh, 777. Nice, uh, nice money count. Oh, look, he even told... Oh, no. So, it's it's not like they would... Uh, it's not like you would expect all 1,400 of them to have 
deep, in-depth knowledge of the meta game. It's yeah. just like they they probably just looked at it and said like, yeah, I don't like Balvazor, so I'm saying fuck you, Balvazor. I'm putting it on the list. <laughs> yeah, I want to say it's more like look because I don't know like I don't know enough about Pokemon and Serena, but I feel like Kikorita just got to be number one because a lot of people don't like the design of it. Okay. Like I think is a little bullshit for it. Apparently, um. Venusaur can learn Razor Leaf, which because of the because of the really bad programming in first gen, uh, Venusaur can pretty much sweep the entire game getting critical hits with that. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, so yeah, yeah I'm kind um, of in a snow place now, I think. It might have just been Or a, this might uh, be feather this is feathers. <laughs> oh yeah, Crunchyroll, by the way. Our official position on the matter is that every Pokemon is good. <laughs> what what a politician esque answer what there, about Crunchyroll. The fucking painter. Smeargle. Smeargle is a fucking useless Pokemon. Yeah. It has a... It has a Which is why it was so entertaining watching that one dude play through with six of them. That's how it's useful. De need needing to mod your game to add six of them in. <laughs> oh, somebody just... Somebody just I will replied, never forgive the Japanese. Somebody just replied with a picture. Some random... Uh, Jojo. And a Jojo reference. I'll that's, never forgive the Japanese. That's Joseph. I've seen that so many fucking times. And someone replied, Can I get some more resolution? And someone posted a higher quality yeah. uh, image of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he just says that. But I know that's just the... Like, he just says that randomly and punches... And kicks the guy in, like, the nuts or something. So many replies with that same... Uh, same response. What are you talking about? This is the most useless starter Pokemon. This is some girl from Naruto with pink hair. Yeah, it's the uh, the female lead. Okay. I did not care for her. Okay. Like I d didn't care for the main three at fucking all. <laughs> I like this reply. You're entitled to your wrong opinion. That's fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. This this upset Kirby immensely. <laughs> all right, sorry. We're just we're just replying. We're just reading through a random tweet conversation. We're already over time at this point. Uh, well, what the fuck are you fighting right now? <laughs> Look at these weirdos. These guys are Chikorita lovers, I bet. Yep, dead. I think, uh, I think right. Kirita looks cute. I mean, that she, she's got like a spike collar thing going on. Yeah. Like, she would be a goth. You you realize this, right, Steve? What's wrong with goths? Nothing. I'm just, I'm just letting you know what you're getting yourself into I'm, if I'm Chikorita was a real person. They'd have like the spike collar thing going on. Yeah? They'd be thick as fuck. I'm, I'm willing to take the risk. Okay, fair enough. Good okay, enough. everyone, we're, we're, we're done for this episode. If we want to get one thing across is that Chikorita got a fat ass. She's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>